Welcome to the American dream. In Minnesota, our winters are cold. So during the winter, we like to retreat indoors. We wanna give you an inside look into the staging company we use to stage all of our properties. I think you're gonna be blown away by all the things you don't know about home staging. Well, let's go. After that, we're gonna take you to downtown Stillwater to introduce you to what we think is one of the best staycation locations around, Hotel Crosby. When we're done there, we're gonna to head to a home in Stillwater that we believe is a true, all-inclusive home. Welcome to the American Dream, where we focus on culture, lifestyle, and real estate. Today, we're going to Minneapolis, where we're going to meet with Dan and Julie Debrachet. They're going to show us the world of home staging and how to transform amazing places. Let's go check it out. The search is over, baby. I'm right here, and I got it. The American Dream, the only show that combats negative media, not owned by a network, commercial-free, unscripted. These are stories for you and by you. Welcome to the American Dream. In Minnesota, our winters are cold, so during the winter, we like to retreat indoors. As we turn our focus to the inside of the home during the cold months, we want to give you an inside look into the staging company we use to stage all of our properties, Carriel Staging. I think you're going to be blown away by all the things you don't know about home staging. After that, we're going to take you to downtown Stillwater to introduce you to what we think is one of the best staycation locations around, Hotel Crosby. When we're done there, we're gonna to head to a home in Stillwater that we believe is a true, all-inclusive home. Well, let's go. We're here with Carrie from Carrie L Staging. Carrie, you've been staging our clients' homes for over 10 years now. We wanted to bring our viewers and everybody else watching through the experience of what you do. Can you share a little bit with us about that today? Sure. We love staging for you guys, and we love having you guys as part of our partnership, as that's how we feel when we work with you, and giving us the opportunities all the time to work with you and so many great clients. How does it start? Like, someone wants to stage their home with you. We have a client. We call you up, say, hey, Carrie, we need to stage this house. What happens after that? Well, we get, we get an estimate. We get somebody out there, we get them to look, and they just take pictures and video and they send it back to the office. Once they say, okay, let's do it, the office tells me, let's go, and I look at all the pictures and video, and then I start piecing the house together, starting from my head. Okay. And then um, the designers come in, and we just, I kind of lay out the story. What is this house telling us? Who lives here? How many kids do they have? And we create the story and I pick out the furniture and the designers help execute it. So to make our systems really seamless and quick and efficient when we're in the house, we do all the work here. So like we'll put our kitchen together, we'll put our dining room together, we'll put our island together, and we take photos of it, pack it up, put the room on it and where it goes. And so it's really efficient when we're in the house. We do all the hard work here. So, I mean, you are the largest stager in the Midwest. How many homes a year do you do? We do about 2,500 homes every year. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. And I know, like, you're working on doing some, like, custom stuff for yourself? Yes. Um, I find it really challenging, and I have over the last 17 years, to go to 15, 20 different vendors to get for one house. So I started creating my own furniture line a few years back and I'm starting with the soft goods. So pillows, pillowcases, things that I find it's really hard to find. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's gonna make it more seamless for us later on and it'll be more efficient later on. 
I am amazed at the size of your warehouse and how much furniture you have and how big of a warehouse you have to have to do a business like yours. Yes, we have three buildings and so it's about 30,000 square feet. We have a building that kind of keeps all the hard surfaces, tables, end tables, coffee tables, dining room tables, those types of items. And then our other storage is outdoor items. And then in here, we try to keep all of our main stuff and all of our decorating stuff. When we're staging and we decide what size coffee table, let's say we're using, a lot of times what we do is, is the room big? Is the ceilings tall? We can use things like this. We can also use them next to a fireplace as well to help tie a room together. And this process can be done at your own home too, prior to you selling it. So many people say, how do you do it? Or they call us and they want to know how to stage their own homes. It's finding the things that you love yeah. and, and putting them together and kind of laying them out. Maybe even take a picture of it and say, do I like how that looks? Because if you like how it looks, you're gonna love it in your home. Find textures, patterns, you know, solid colors and tie those as well together in a room. When people come in, they feel the coziness of it and they feel good and that's what we do in staging as well. We wanna invoke the coziness for them. We wanna invoke that home feeling and that's important to us here. So we really try to pull that all the way through the home or we decide What's the story? Is it a blue story? Is it a yellow story? What are we What are we trying to say here? I would say one of the, the more challenging pieces for us, at least for staging, is finding the right prints and patterns. So what we're doing right now is we are creating our own to help with staging and to help homeowners if they choose to buy it. So Carrie, I know when you get done staging your property and our sellers go back and see the property or see the pictures that they moved out of town and they are just amazed at how it looks and love it and wish they would have done that while they lived there. Yes. Um, I know that you don't only just do staging, you also will furnish someone's home after they bought it and after they've moved into it. Yes, that's true. My daughter, Labricia, has kind of taken charge of of that division. Okay. We had so many requests that I was just busy staging and so she was first doing the books and then she's just kind of geared into that. She's been around the staging her whole life with me so it was a simple transition for her. She does an amazing job. I know one of our friends just bought a 10,000 square foot house and she literally went in and helped them furnish and like design the whole thing. And yes. It turned out amazing. Yeah, she's phenomenal. She's really great at what she does. And I know later today, she's gonna be taking us over to the Hotel Crosby in Stillwater to show us how you guys partnered with them to help them design that whole hotel and furnish it. Before we go to the Crosby, we have to take a look at the warehouse. Come on, let me show you around. Okay. <laughs> I'm assuming that like moving the couches in and out is one of the hardest things to do. Yes, it is. It's you have to worry about the doors. Daniel. Hey guys. I found some peanuts. You know those are like seven years old, right? Come on. They taste pretty good. Mm. No? I do not want to take care of you tonight. Oh, I, I got a good tummy. I'll be all right. <laughs> Thanks so much for having us out today, Carrie. I think it was super interesting for the viewers to see a glimpse behind the scenes. Yes, thanks for coming. I'm glad I got to show you the process and what we do every day staging. Of course, I'm so excited now to head out to the Crosby and see Labricia's work out there. You're gonna love it. And I'm proud of your story. From a single mother bartender to owning the biggest staging company in the Midwest, to me, that's the American dream. Today. Uh, to be honest, I'm pretty blown away by this place. I, I'm loving it so far. Tell us, tell us about it. It's the Hotel Crosby. We're here downtown Stillwater, the north end of the town. We've opened, been open a couple years ago. Fabricio, my friend here, and myself uh, 
did the design and build to it, and it was an interesting project and, and lasted a, a year and a half of our lives. Mm -hmm. And the finished product, we love. We're happy, we're proud. We've had a, an unbelievable run here. People seem to, to really jump on board the city of Stillwater, and it's a great place for people in Edina, people in Shakopee, people in Lutzen to come and, and stay for a night with their significant other or their family and experience not only Hotel Crosby, but downtown Stillwater. Looking back, it's a pretty awesome experience between you and me. Yeah. Figuring out where to put a couch, where to do this. Um, first time for both of us in a hotel business, so we, we learned as we went and, and we surrounded ourselves with great people and, and here we are today. To me, your uh, enthusiasm, just the type of person you are, outside of the hotel itself, I want to come stay here and hang out with you. But then when I'm, I'm here, like this to me, it's like a destination. Like I truly feel like I'm in like a resort in an awesome little town. We want you to forget that you live in, in, in New Brighton or Shakopee or, or Lutzen. We want you to come down and we want you to forget about things and we're here to take care of you. And we have everything that you can, you can, you can want to do in Stillwater. Here at a fingertip, if we don't have it, we're going to find it for you, Dan. And I, I can't say thank you enough for coming. And it's a, it's a lot of fun here. So Chris, you own the hotel and Labricia helped decorate the hotel, put, furnish it all. Labricia, tell us about like how, we, I love how cozy it is when I walked in. It's just so cozy, welcoming. How did you create that feeling? So the biggest thing was making sure that we added the rustic cottage vibe that the owners were really looking for. And so it came down to every detail in this place, just we wanted to make it feel so homey and just like you went away and you came back and they, they just fully take care of you, so really comfortable. And that was that was the vibe we were going for. It's very rustic and cozy with the fireplace and some of the steel and exposed beams and I don't know, just that um, home away from home. And you know what, Labrisi, if you think back, it was so much fun to build because pretty much everything that you see in here, from, from the lobby to the other places to the rooms, we made ourselves, we made locally, mm -hmm. we, we we shopped locally. We the beams that you'll see in the rooms they came from uh, a barn in Mankato. You know, mm -hmm. we went in, in our pickup trucks and picked up the beams and brought them back and hung them in every single room. So it it was it was awesome from that respect that we were able to keep everything local without farming things out. Mm -hmm. And the way you figured out how to cover certain pieces and aspects of the hotel with your cool furniture or your you're very comfortable. It wasn't just find something that looks good. It was find something that looks good that people can sit in and, and just, you know, marshmallow into. And yeah, it correct. A, it was an awesome thing with a with a dinner or with a newspaper or with a laptop. If you got some work to do, you just you thought of every angle in that respect. And super, super happy with what you did, super proud of you for how you Thanks, did it. Chris. And it was awesome. I actually remember, I don't remember how long ago, it feels like it's like two years, three years, yeah. months have been? Two years ago. Two years. two years ago this month. I remember we were out for dinner or something, I don't remember where we were, but you were just jacked about this. You were so <laughs> excited. I remember you talking about it. It was awesome. Yeah. yeah, I had a blast. And we got along so great. One of my, when we were walking through the hotel, one of my favorite like parts about the hotel is the outside area with the hot tub and like, I just love that. Can you tell us more about that area? Yeah. The, 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 from the front patio, which is on the street side, we have some uh, beautiful couch areas that sit out front. We have some nice dining seating on the right side. We have an alley seating on the, on the far side. We have a beautiful courtyard in the back. We've done numerous weddings out there now. We've done some art shows. Um, great place to just come and hang out with your friends or your family and have a drink or, or just relax if you're staying at the hotel. Can you kind of share with us what your process was from start to finish and designing everything? Yeah, sure. So actually I came and met Chris at the hotel and he gave me kind of like the big picture vision and me and my mom flew out to Atlanta and Texas. That's where we sourced a lot of these um, certain features like the sofa, these chairs we're sitting in, uh, some of the light fixtures, we had those custom made and we met this great couple. They custom made every little detail in each light fixture. And so I was taking photos and videos and sending them to Chris, blowing his phone up. And it was a blast. We just selected everything on site at these markets. How many hours would you say you spent on this? Thousands. I have, yeah, Thousands. I have no idea. 
thousands of hours. It's awesome. From midnight, yeah, uh, two a.m. Sometimes mm -hmm. an idea would hit, we'd see a piece, uh, we'd work through that. The Brucey would then go and try to try to get it procured or get it made. Um, when you look at those those particular light fixtures or those hanging lights up mm -hmm. there, even the neons that that talk about the whiskey and stuff. I mean, there was a process with you, and and we were together from seven a.m. to midnight, seven yeah. days a week. Yeah. Well, Labrisa, you have impeccable style, and I can just really tell that, like, every little detail you paid attention to when coming up with this. It's, it's just beautiful. Yeah, I don't think I've ever been this comfortable in any hotel-type experience, personally. And we travel a lot. We go to a lot of hotels, and I'm really loving this. When we were talking and planning for today, you told me the story of why you opened the Crosby in Stillwater. I really love that story. Can you share it with us again? Uh, the short version of it, the cliff notes are we, my, my partner's a, a Stillwater guy, grew up and born and raised here. We had done some minor business in Stillwater, tried to get a hotel room here in town. Very hard. Uh, hotel rooms were booked solid. Took me a couple weeks to get a reservation. Jumped on, a, on my motorcycle with a girl, a date, we came down, had a, had a nice time, wasn't overly impressed with um, the wait time, the pricing, everything else. Mentioned it to my partner, hey, maybe we could, we could build a hotel. This used to be a little tiny building, it was an eye clinic. And started designing a hotel and here we are. I love awesome. it, it's such a great addition to Stillwater. So Chris, whether my wife and I are out for a, like a date weekend or you've got some you know, people that are working at a business close by, planning a business trip, or just like a family that wants to stay. You've got us covered here, right? Dan, great question. I mean, we, of course we can. And and the variety of rooms that we have here to accommodate different groups is, is spectacular. We have our premium king room to our premium queen room to a variety of suites. There's 55 rooms in the hotel, 17 of them are suites. Every suite has a, is named after a whiskey, you'll see in the, in the hallway. It goes all the way up to our 22, about 2,200 square foot penthouse, That's which cool. is phenomenal. It has private fireplaces, and, and every one of our, our presidential suites also has a little sit down in this Pac Man machine. That, that's your favorite jewelry. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, people like it. People like it. We've had people rent it uh, and play Miss Pac Man tournaments. So it's, it's, it's an awesome experience in those. And, and we like to think that we can take care of, of with the variety of rooms we have, that we can take care of uh, people from, from a group of girls getting together for a girls' weekend out, all the way down to a, a family reunion and everything in between. That's it's awesome. awesome. Daniel and Julie, I think this would be a great date night. I like what I'm hearing. What do you think? I think so. All right, Chris, uh, I think I might need to have you show me one of those 2,200 square foot penthouses. Hey, love to show it to you. I think you guys will enjoy it. And uh, <laughs> the price is right. Along the way, we'll show you a couple of things you enjoy here. I awesome. like it. Let's take a little walk.
Hi everyone. Today we're at 2327 Morgan Avenue North in Stillwater. A beautiful home with over 5,000 finished square feet located on two and a half resort-like acres. What makes it resort-like? Well, there's some super cool, super unique features. To start with, the pool, the awesome outdoor kitchen, and a wine cellar inside. Yeah, it's definitely beautiful out here. But we're in Minnesota, and it's winter, and it's cold, so let's go check it out. Holy buckets, I love the wall of windows. That's awesome. Yeah, this is a really great room. It was really important to the sellers when they were building this house that they had this two-story room with this full wall of windows overlooking the backyard. It's just a really great room that is open to the rest of the house, open to the kitchen, and really the center of the house. I love this kitchen. I love that you can have six people just sitting right here at the island. Pretty much a gourmet kitchen in my opinion. Double ovens, gas cooktop, two fridges. I don't think it's missing anything. I love it. I love that it overlooks the informal dining area. It has built-in speakers, so when you're hanging out in here, you can listen to music. Awesome. And then it has a great screen porch off of it. And who doesn't love a screen porch? I know it's Minnesota winter right now, but I can truly envision this in the summer. This would be awesome out here. Yeah, the house is wonderful, really gorgeous, but the outside area is really the showstopper here. The pool area, the outdoor kitchen is amazing. It's equipped with a built-in grill, built-in bar. You can fit tons of people sitting around it to entertain. I can imagine having some really great pool parties here in the summer. And I love the sound of that waterfall. I could see myself falling asleep in the porch here listening to that waterfall for sure. Definitely. Absolutely beautiful. Nice family room. Tall ceilings, built-in speakers. Uh, it looks like it's a full surround sound system actually. Fireplace, some nice rustic stone. Yeah, you have this great game area with the pool table. It's right off the patio that features a hot tub. I envision hanging out at night, playing a game of pool, and then jumping in that hot tub to relax. Yeah, while you're doing that, I'll be right here enjoying a bottle of wine from the wine cellar. Sounds like a good night. I think the buyers in this price range are really gonna enjoy the master suite. Vaulted ceiling, jacuzzi tub, walk-in shower, large master closet. Not to mention three other bedrooms, great bathroom that's split up so your kids can be in there both at the same time. And what I really love is the upper level laundry. No more hauling hampers. And I do love that we're looking at that big wall of windows again in the two-story great room. Brings it all together for me. Wow, Julie, I can really see why you feel this is a resort-like property. I don't think I'd ever want to leave. I agree. I say we go hit the hot tub. Let's do it. The Hotel Crosby is so warm and inviting. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. Next, the Debrachets are gonna show us their amazing listings that they have on the market. Let's go check it out. Oh, 
essential to parks, schools, shopping, restaurants, and more in a quiet neighborhood is 7619 53rd Avenue North in New Hope. This three-bed, two-bath rambler furnished by Cariel Staging creates a welcoming feeling immediately upon entering. The sun-filled living room with lovely original hardwood floors is the perfect spot to bask in the afternoon sun or curl up and watch a movie in the evening. Open to the living room, the formal dining room will have you planning your next holiday gathering. The kitchen is equipped with a new stainless steel fridge, dishwasher, and gas cooktop. All the tools you need to create the perfect meal for that holiday gathering. From the kitchen, easily step out onto the spacious deck to enjoy a fully fenced flat backyard boasting mature trees and a lovely patio. Back inside on the walkout lower level, you can find a wet bar and family room to prepare and enjoy a beverage after a long day of work, as well as an additional bathroom and bedroom easily used as a home office. Offering a kitchen straight out of an interior design catalog staged by Cariel Staging, 5804 Irving Avenue South in the Kenny neighborhood of Minneapolis is not one to miss. The perfect balance of utility and design, the kitchen hosts high-end appliances, including a wolf range, while also flaunting lovely granite countertops and breakfast bar seating flowing easily into the dining room with charmed cove ceilings, sun-filled bay window, and a built-in china cabinet. Nearby is a lovely office with built-ins great for decoration and storage. Rounding out the main level is a warm and welcoming living room with a cozy gas fireplace, plantation shutters, and cove ceilings. Upstairs awaits three well-sized bedrooms conveniently located on the same level, while the lower level offers a lovely living room with a wood-burning fireplace perfect for gathering around this holiday season. If you're looking for one level living in Lakeville, look no further. 18317 Lansford Path keeps everything you need, including two bedrooms and a private office at your fingertips on the main level with an open floor plan and vaulted ceiling that allows light to fill the home. Furnished by Cariel Staging, it's hard not to immediately feel at home here. Enjoy a book in the Four Season Porch or spend the morning on the newly refinished deck overlooking the golfers on Brackett's Crossing Country Club. When your day is done, retreat to the master suite complete with a spa-like master bath and a walk-in closet large enough for any wardrobe. If you're looking for more space, the walkout lower level provides an additional two bedrooms and a family room with gas, fireplace, and wet bar, perfect for entertaining. Tucked into South Minneapolis Tangletown neighborhood awaits 111 Valley View Place. Just blocks away from Minnehaha Creek, surrounded by mature trees and beautiful landscaping. For the chilly winter months, the solarium is a great spot to take in a fresh snowfall and enjoy a warm beverage. The interior offers four well-sized bedrooms and bathrooms, including the fantastic master suite, boasting 13-foot vaulted ceilings with a skylight and tons of windows lighting the room aglow. Bringing the suite to the next level is a private deck overlooking the backyard and the gorgeously remodeled bathroom with heated floors, marble countertops, and an enormous walk-in shower. Throughout the rest of the home, you'll find a splendid combination of classic touches and lovely updates. Thank you for watching this episode of The American Dream and for letting us take you to the great city of Minneapolis. Remember, you can follow us on social media at The American Dream TV and engage with us. And the next time, have a great week and cheers to your American Dream.